Hello friends, it's me Faisal Amin here. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can run a smallest operating system on your Android using Limbo PC emulator. You can run this smallest operating system and perform different calculations. You can perform my calculator operations. You can play any games. You can use it as a terminal command line operating system by using it shell okay you can also do some specific paintings you can create an image you can edit your graphics and you can also the PC Colibri uh, US is very customizable you really enjoy that let's focus on your tutorial you can find me on YouTube here minus I okay this is my profile and this is my YouTube profile it's for only help of my tutorial so let's focus on our tutorial first you need to download an ISO image that download link I provide in the requirement section you can easily download it from there and I have already downloaded it here I can show you here you can also find it with the same name when you download it and after downloading this ISO image just focus on the second app called RAR extractor RAR extractor okay here you f here here you'll find this I also provide the download link in the requirement section you can easily download it from there if you not you can download it from the play store here I give the all the information I also have downloaded and installed it now focus on third limbo limbo is the emulator amazing emulator for Android just download and install it I already installed and downloaded it now you need to open your RAR file and go to your downloaded ISO image it's really exactly not an ISO it's a dot 7z extension an ISO image inside it you need to extract the ISO from this file by just click on here and click on here and just click on extract this and choose your path and click on ok it's extract the ISO image on your annoying head and it extract on your file manager you just need to now open the limbo PC emulator and we need to set up the machine just follow my steps carefully open it I knowledge click on ok click on ok and just click on new here type the name of your own choice like I type the Colibri tutorial Colibri tutorial and click on create you need it to download the ISV image but you are already downloaded it you can find it here Colibri US you can also download it from here or you can download it from requirement section from requirement section you can easily download it and you can also use some other Linux like Trinux, Fridos are really enjoyable Linux DSL Linux I really enjoy it Debian Linux I didn't use yet it but I use in future and here our Colibri OS we have already downloaded just click the back option back key of your mo mobile back key once and we need to set up the machine just follow my steps carefully first step user interface click on VNC second orientation auto English English now you need to put the full screen option 
don't forget it architecture you need to put the x64 machine type q35 where the q35 q35 and cpu model to qem u64 and cpu cores to 3 select your ram i just select my ram to 704 note be sure that your selected ram is less than your available ram what is your available ram you can check your available ram from your setting device maintenance and memory okay here you can select your all device your available ram here my available ram 1.2 gb so i can select it from i can select a ram a list of ram to the with the call delivery tutorial and i select the 704 but my available ram is 1.2 gb i select the my ram less than your available ram if you select ram greater than your available ram it seems to be greater seems to be when you click on start it's falsely close or uh, unfortunately close didn't work well and doesn't run your machine because it create a virtual machine it's a type of uh, you are using in the windows vmware vmware virtual box it's like it it's create a virtual ram virtual hard disk virtual cpu okay divide your cpu original cpu mobile cpu into a virtual virtually create a machine just select a ram and scroll down and click on cd rom and click on open now here select your extract iso image if you didn't find that just search for that iso all files with ISO extension are up here. Here are our query OS. Just click on that. Okay. Well done. Now go down. And you need to select the boot from device. How oh, very interesting step. Just click on there and click on CD ROM. It's not a CD ROM of your window, it's a CD ROM of your that's machine, virtual machine you put a disk on that just like a your laptop you put a disk on that and you boot from the disk by go to the boot menu by just pressing the f12 on the rebooting here also same the procedure you put a disk like a disk rounded disk on the cd room i put a disk on cd room and just boot it from cd room simply and you can also use external vnc if you want to use work vnc viewer from the place where you can download it from there but we really need no need of that just scroll up on the top and click on start here the start button you can see that i click on start now our virtual machine should processing and you can see here video mode 1024 multiply by 760 multiply by 32 okay you can also see that here you can see that quality tutorial vm virtual machine vme virtual machine running running in process okay here our virtual machine run successfully let's rotate your screen to landscape here you can see our operating system runs very perfectly you can use your their mouse you can also select uh, use an otg cable so it work well with otg cable and you need to also you can use any function of there you can see that here a calendar i select that calendar and close that close it i need to close that what's open here just click on close now perform some mathematical calculation 
open calculator by double click on it and let's perform some calculation 2 plus 8 its answer must be oh sorry and just close it clear it and click on 2 plus 2 its answer must be 4 let's check 4 oh my god amazing it's a tiny tiny calculator you can perform a algebraic sum sine cos h cos tan h n many more much more you really enjoy that let's open a shell <laughs> you can type here you are tz cable by attach your keyboard by tz cable you can select it but it doesn't type there yeah, let's check what's come help here yeah, wow amazing you can check by pressing the back key once and select here the keyboard keyboard you can type it from here and once you click once click on your back key it go up and full screen so you can also use your colors click on black and white just look at that black and white we just need a colorful operating system you can just use 256 you can also use a, uh, the terminator and you can also zoom in and out okay and you can move your cursor by your fingers okay here uh, now we need to open the menu what's happened here okay you need to put the here the keyboard now again put the help help section and it's again work and that's for uh, today you can also close it from here here the menu option you can use the menu option here you can run any games here i should show you these are the games tiny games pretty cool games and when you need to close it you just need to menu option menu oh my god what's open it's a smallest game you really need to use otg otg okay what is it to use your here the slide bar you can also choose the volume here the video player here the audio here the many more options just close that what's open here and you just need to click the menu you just need to click the shutdown and here the reboot option shutdown option power off option and corner reboot option you can also save all changes and click on power off <laughs> really enjoy that thanks for watching